Yo, what's up guys, it's Colin here, I'm going to be bringing you another video. Okay, so this video is going to be an allotic money making guide. And to make money, you're going to be killing revenants, which is, uh, yeah, located 30 wilderness in the revenant cave. Uh, no. <laughs> but, um, okay, so what I will mention as well before we start the video is summoning it's entirely up to you whether you want to bring a park yak or a steel titan the steel titan does spill up uh, speed up the kill process and gets you loots faster but the park yak lets you stay there a lot longer and bank your items quicker so wherever you get that's worth something you can bank really quick so let's get straight into it this is the setup i'm using right now dehyde and I'm gonna be soul split flicking it's what i always bring and it always works for me i bring the zamoro cape because i have no cape and it makes me feel very sad. So yes, uh, Barra's gloves of course, rock climbing boots, uh, ring of wealth, you can bring, you can choose to bring this, it's entirely up to you. Um, but uh, this has helped me a lot, for some reason I, I don't know why, but uh, whenever I go up there I get uh, really lucky. Like it's mostly every, tri every trip, it doesn't matter what it is, it's like over a mill drop. Uh, Dragon Skimitar, simply because I'm bringing my AGS in case a PK comes along, uh, you know, wants to try and take me out, I try and, uh, you know, fight back. So, Dragon Defender, just because it goes well with the Dragon Skimitar, uh, the Helm of Night Snot for the Defense, and Prayer Bonus. So, this is the setup I'm currently using, you can choose to copy me, or if you want, you can take a higher gear up with you, and let me PK you, please. Nah, JK. <laughs> but still. Alright, so, this is the uh, food, the inventory setup. So, I bring a pure set, I normally bring them full, but I've already drunk two do uh, one dose. So, six Prayer Portions, uh, these are just for, um, you know... For, uh, when I put the turmoil berserk uh, and I flick the soul split it does really run your prayer down so six prayer portions I bring and two brew sets just in case of the PKers and plus when I run out the prayer portions they do the revenants do drop prayer portions uh, they drop uh, PvP armor which is I think it's like 10 mil plus uh, each P no each PvP armor is like three mil plus I'd say so it's a really good gain and they kind of do commonly drop for me I don't know where it is like mostly every trip or every two trips I get a PvP item uh, the artifacts they drop as well they can drop anything from like 30k up to five mil which is the top one which is an ancient statue I got that yesterday but I forgot to take a pick um, but I found it pretty brilliant and uh, a, a must have I mean you must have this. A friend three bears. They are 30k in the GE. I think they're rising right now. But um, the reason why you have this is the same as uh, Runescape, the old Runescape. Uh, you spend a charge from bra uh, bears to repel revenants from attack in 20 minutes. What's it? What this means? It doesn't give you inv invulnerability to the revenants, but it does give you uh, 20 seconds of uh, no 20 minutes immunity. So they don't all attack you because the revenants up there are, are really aggressive if you don't have a friend three bears. So, this is my setup. I'm going to show you the route I take to get to the Revenant. So, we're going to come over here, over by uh, Edgewell Lever. You're going, to pull, you're going to want to pull this and go to West Dragons. So, once you get there, you want to run east. It's like a little bit, well, it's a long way east, and then you want to go a little bit north. I wouldn't say a little bit, quite a bit north. But uh, it's like in between the both. Right behind the castle, I think it's at level 16, the... Are uh, the Revenant's cave is so stop clicking in the castle, please, please, please don't do this. But, um, this is where I normally do. I'll run up here now, and as soon as I get to the Rev Cave, I normally see PKs out there, but they don't to really touch me. But uh, there's two. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, there's two people here right now. I think he's logged. Ah, oh, no, it's the guy. It's the same guy. It's the guy I was ragging in Edgeville. But um. Yeah, one sec, guys. I'm gonna put up for a second. I'm gonna take this guy out. Alright, come on in, buddy. You really wanna go? Let's go. I'm gonna eat up a sec. See if I can, uh. No! No, there's two pick up. Holy shit! Holy shit, one sec. I'll be back now, guys. Alright, so them guys completely ruined my inventory setup. I'm gonna run back now just to show you the path that I take. So, as soon as we get back into the Revenant's Guide, uh, guide what? The uh, Revenant's Cave, I will show you the path that I take. So, normally, once I come to the Revenant's Cave, I rest here. 
until I get full run, but uh, I'm just gonna rush this a sec. And you wanna pray melee coming up here? Just pass this line, you can just switch it on then. Uh, because the le the gritted demons, I always thought they were lesser, de uh, lesser demons. But uh, the gritted demons already aggro, and in the next part you get hellhounds. So these are aggro as well. And then you want to run up here, and then this is where the lo uh, remnants are located. Same as old school runescape, not uh, old school runescape, same as the old runescape. So, I'm guessing they banked or something. Oh no, they are here, they are here. I think one one's mad. But um, kill a revenant now, see what it drops, and then I'll probably TP out, because you know. But uh, it's the guys that was ragging uh, Edgeville. Oh shit, I'm TP'd. Okay, so let's keep on killing anyway. So I can. But uh, they dropped PK uh, tokens, which I wanted to show you. I'll pick up the prayer portions as well, because I'm going to run tank these and bank now. Just simply because they're bad. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much been the guide, guys. You earn around, I'd say, a trip, 3 to, maybe 3 to 20 mil, I'd say. If you get lucky, then, you know, you'd be around the 20 mil mark. But, uh, keep the wilderness po uh, tokens in case you want to buy a chaotic or you want to buy something that's worth a lot of money. Like, maybe, I don't know, worth a lot of money, you know. But, um, like a Karasi or a chaotic weapon, it's entirely up to you guys, but, uh, other than that, you know, this has been the guide. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like if you did. Uh, comment so I can improve my videos and subscribe for more. But other than that, I'm going to log out now and teleport back to Edgeville so I can finish off working on Slayer. So yeah, other than that, guys, goodbye.